Thanks for watching. I'm meteorologist Jacqueline Thomas. Of course, heading through the end of our week, we are feeling that taste of summer. Look at some of the highs we reached yesterday. Yeah, 80s statewide. Manchester even broke into the lower 90s. New record high there. Same thing in Concord. So impressive warmth on our Thursday. It's still going to be warm out there today, but just not quite as hot. We're going to end up seeing temperatures cooling down through the afternoon. A little backdoor front moves through and we'll have a little bit more of that sea breeze influence too. So today we still approach the 80s as you head further south in the state. I think southwestern parts of the state likely going to be the warmest spots out there today. And then we see those temperatures cool as that little front comes through. So satellite and radar very quiet. We have that mild start to our morning. And as we head through the day, we'll get a mix of sun and clouds by tomorrow more clouds in place and it will be cooler lows tonight drop into the 40s so a cooler night ahead of a cooler day on saturday to kick off the weekend but still mild for this time of year again that average high still in the mid to upper 50s and will be in the 60s tomorrow then we see a chance for showers develop as we head towards the second half of the weekend even later saturday evening or saturday night can't rule out a couple of sprinkles or a little bit of patchy drizzle trying to develop in southern parts of the state and on Sunday can't rule out the chance for a couple of showers either at times. If you have plans to head down to Boston or want to spectate for the Boston Marathon, you might want the rain gear on hand for that too. We see another round of showers possible Monday, some steadier rain likely during the afternoon as a front comes through and temperatures by then back in the 50s. So the seven day forecast you'll notice today we still hang on to some of that warmth before some cooler temperatures return and it does look seasonable in the 50s for most of next week.